right. So, um, hello and welcome, uh, Bloodstreamers. Here is Martin from RadioBloodstream.com. And most importantly, I have Adrian from At Infinitum streaming live today. One of the uh, interviews with stars. Um, and the reason is here because uh, At Infinitum is releasing, believe or not, a second album uh, after the Chapter 1 uh, Monarchy. They're releasing album by the name Chapter 2 Legacy. So, Adrian, first of all, uh, hello and welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing very good today, and it's a pleasure to be here with you and talking about the upcoming release. Which is, I will remind everyone, it's 29th of October, so uh, in a few, two weeks roughly, so um, it's not going to be too long. So um, what uh, what's the situation? Where are you streaming from now, Adrian? Because I don't know. I'm right now sitting in my kitchen in Cologne in Germany, where I'm living. Right. And yeah, it's going to be a bit, um, yeah, it's a bit stressy here in my, in my room because I'm moving together with my girlfriend next month and I'm sitting here between all my boxes and everything. So, <laughs> oh, so we catch you in a bad time. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep you for long anyway. So let's go, let's go to the uh, Corona situation. What's the Germany situation? Uh, with the corona are everybody healthy uh, and well in your family yes um everybody is doing fine and uh no one got it with my family actually my former flatmate had it and we were two weeks in quarantine and uh it was a pain in the ass but yes um so i'm i'm looking forward for next year actually when we can finally play live without any restrictions again Yes, so uh, you almost got me to the next question. So let's let's talk about this new album. So after the chapter, um, so chapter two, legacy. So that's going to be the new album. Yes. Now, now the question is, who is behind the music? Who actually? You probably you're the guitarist. So who else? We have, of course, Melissa, our star at the vocals. Uh, yes. Nicholas. Niklas Müller at the drums, an insane drummer. Every time I play with him, he's absolutely bursting the walls. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Kropinian Stocker or Kropinian Benedict on the bass. Uh, he's a friend of mine here in Cologne. I asked him to join the project and here we are as a quartet. So uh, who, who actually is behind the music, who actually create the music and lyrics in the band? Melissa is responsible for the lyrics. And we all are the songwriters and uh, we all deliver our ideas during Corona. The situation was pretty tricky because we couldn't meet, um, but we delivered our ideas via Skype. We transferred Dropbox. We had songwriting sessions via Zoom. Um, Corbin and I were meeting at my place for arranging some band stuff and everybody is delivering ideas. For example, Melissa um, has a melody for the chorus and we started working on the band arrangement, how we, um, yeah, s keep a good synergy with her ideas. And for, or, or Corby and I, or Nicholas and I wrote whole band arrangements and she just has to drop her vocal melodies on that one so that was the process on working on chapter two so uh the next question obviously will be where you guys get inspiration who is your biggest star or who you follow who actually gets you in the band so who is your inspirations um that's a good question because of course there are bands or songs that inspire us but um it's often the case that we just I can just say it for me because all I right, sit so, there. I, all right, let's make it simple. Just who is your inspiration? Who's my inspiration? Um, a good moment with my guitar, a good tone. A good tone is the first thing. And then, or uh, a new plug -in, for example. I, I, I'm, I'm totally crazy about, about plugins and um, producing music. Uh -huh. And when there is some some interesting synthesizer or a nice good orchestral sound, and I'm thinking, wow, this is something I wanna start a song with. And um, yeah, sometimes it's a good moment. Sometimes it's uh, in the middle of the night, two in the morning, and I have this spooky riff in my head, 
So. So now, now with the question is, um, who you like to share the the, uh, the the stage with, or who you like to tour with? Then, who will be your you know come, dream come true? Let's say. <laughs> okay, uh, so the band that brought me into rock music is Alta Bridge, and I would love to share the stage with them. Yep. One day, and I would like to tour with Amaranth at some point. Um, yeah, because now I know, know Nils, Nils Moldin from the collaboration we had uh, in the song Afterlife, our latest single, and I think they're pretty fun on tour. And yeah, those two bands. Why don't we Why don't we play a little bit from the Afterlife? Definitely epic song. <laughs> I love it. So on, so on. So who is playing the guitar in it? The solo guitar on the on the music. Can you hear me? Yeah, me of course. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I can that's hear what it. I was trying. Um... To, I was trying to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh uh, yeah, that's definitely. I love that song. It's um, obviously I haven't heard the whole album yet, but uh, oh, I did. But I just playing that. <laughs> Yeah, um, and um, yeah, it's definitely uh, one yeah. of my favorite albums this year. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so uh, thank you very much. What's the so what's the uh, uh, what's the next step? So basically, you're gonna release the album in two weeks or so, almost three, not two weeks or, or or something. And now, what will be the next step? So as a normal process, will be you hit the road, you hit the you know go to the tour. So what's the plan with you guys after you release the album? So first of all, there's the release show that we play in Switzerland in Bratteln and the show will definitely happen. So do not hesitate to get your tickets. Oh. <laughs> all right. And, and we have this uh, really nice two bands, Dust in Mind and Illumishade. And Illumishade, pretty interesting. They're like members from Elovaiti. So if you're, and they have a sick first album, they're sounding so good. Yes. Um, very interested in how they sound live and the next thing is we recorded the whole second album plus special acoustic versions from this from the first album and packed it into a online release show coming out 6th of november uh -huh. and it's available for only eight days so oh, if you want to see this and i don't know when's the next time we hit the stage so if you want to see this this ticket for this online show and yeah. it's worth it it's we put all our heart into that it looks so sick it's such a sick stage we have amazing guests from uh madeleine from from elaine uh alea from saltatio mortis uh, hans from feuerschwanz and the cellist linda laukam from eclipse and they toured with camelot and nightwish wow and so what what are names? All big names. All big names. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So it's worth to watch. Uh, and we would like to see you there because we will there in the chat. We will live with you. Um, All right. Cool. Brilliant. So and that's the first thing. And after that, we already start collecting ideas for the next album. And uh, we can't wait to record again. And of course, we have some plans for next year touring wise. Um, we will tour for sure. It's not, it's just a question, how will this happen? And not mm -hmm. if will this happen? Yeah. So um, just give us some time. There's stuff and um, yeah. we committed to some contracts and it's hard to figure out how to announce um, stuff properly. So, yes. uh, but there will be announcements and yeah, just be patient. Okay, for those who join, just join us, um, I'm chatting with Adrian from uh, Adrian the guitar player from At Infinitum. Uh, he's streaming from from Germany. I'm streaming from uh, Liverpool, and we are talking about exciting news 
the new second album uh, from the band called uh, uh, Chapter 2, The Legacy. The Legacy and will be released on October 20. Ninth. So uh, we're not certain about the tour yet. We'll be at some point next year, you said, Adrian? Yes. Yes. And any plans to do tour in the UK? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, uh, let, let's see how, how complicated it is with uh, Brexit, but um, we would love to be there, actually. So um, we want to cover every, every country in Europe. So Good. Um, uh, yeah, matter of fact, matter of fact, we, we talked about the L8. I saw them 2019 on a tour. Uh, I saw them live. Amazing concert. Amazing show. There was a four other bands. I don't remember them all, but I remember definitely L8. So, yeah, good, good, good. Um, so uh, where we can get all the albums from? So you said, you know, there will be some package, digital vinyls, everything, you know, some merchandise where we can get it from. Uh, from the uh, shop on the Nap Napalm Records uh, website. Okay. And I guess you can order it on Amazon as well. Okay. And of course, if you like to stream it, um, it will be available everywhere on every streaming platform. But if you're up to a vinyl, then you have to head over to the Napalm Records shop. Yes. So that's that's only uh, available from Nepal's Nepal uh, uh, Records, uh, the the vinyl one, well, vinyl version, which is very yeah. popular lately. Um, yes. So especially especially some bands, you know, do kind of kind of colorful and all kind of you know crazy stuff with the with the vinyls these days. I can um, actually really recommend getting the vinyl because we put yes. uh, a lot of work into the into the artwork and yeah. the design of everything and. Uh -huh. Um, we have a sick photographer and designer by our side, uh, Natalia Enemide from Madrid in Spain, and she's doing a sick job with the with the cover artwork and stuff. And uh, it's I Esther has has some vinyls at her at her place. I haven't seen them yet, but I know how this artwork looks in a big size, and I would love to have it in my hands actually. <laughs> Yeah. So you, you don't have it yet. <laughs> no, I don't have it yet, but uh, I'm ordering one and yeah. my parents get it if they want it or not. Uh, I would just... <laughs> <laughs> just have one. Yeah. Make sure you have one, you know, before the Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Capital is not their, their favorite genre, but uh, I think they like it if, when I'm in, so... Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's uh, you know that's what we that's what we parents do you know we yeah. just and admiring <laughs> our, our children you know whatever they do <laughs> exactly. Um, so how well you said just you said just had said you know you just moved you know with your girlfriend how difficult was actually the time you know the coronavirus you know all the lockdowns and stuff you already mentioned a little bit you know uh, how difficult it was to you know interact together between a zoom skype and stuff so how difficult it was for you guys maybe put the uh video uh music video together at this time at this time difficult times um we had to uh, make a lot of thoughts about that because the most problematic thing we had a mixing session um in denmark Mm -hmm. And directly after that, we went to Austria for shooting the two music videos. And yes. that was horrible. I mean, not the time with the band, but the two weeks before, because we were so careful. I like met nobody, literally. I was sitting at home and taking care of myself and yes. uh, practice the guitar and prepare for the week and the mixed session. Um, so um, when... I was in Denmark at Jacob Hansen's place, our uh, mixer and producer. I was so happy that we were able to make this happen because the restrictions and everybody from, comes from a different country and you have to, like we have to test like every second day yeah. our, ourselves. And every time we had those tests and of course it was always negative, but it was such a relief every time. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always it's always like you know, oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Yeah, no, that this that wasn't that that wasn't fun really. Um, uh, but we we made it possible, and we were so happy that we have two sick music videos Good. now in yes. our hands, and two yes. are on its way, and they're completely different. And I'm really looking forward what you're going to say to this one. Um, yeah. 
All right, so uh, for those who wants to see those videos, hit the YouTube channel, Napalm, Napalm Records, uh, at Infinitum, band from Germany, and we are streaming live today with Adrian, have a chat about the new upcoming album, uh, Chapter 2, Legacy. It will be available from the October 29th. And all media, all records, even the vinyl you can get, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> all right. All right, uh, Adrian, thank you very much. I know you were extremely busy. You're just moving, you know, uh, to your new apartment with your girlfriend. So I'm not going to keep <laughs> you for long. Thank you very much for your time. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see you soon at one of the one of the upcoming shows. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Uh, thank you for the time. And it was a pleasure having you, uh, having an interview with you. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, as I said, you know, hopefully we'll see you soon. And all the best to your fellow uh members uh, from the band and say hello to your uh, girlfriend as well <laughs> oh, too, okay <laughs> all right take care and i'm you gonna too. play the rest of the song at the at the end of the show so thank you very much and take care see you see you soon bye cheers bye bye all right guys so there was adrian from uh, at infinitum i'm gonna play rest of the song which we play a little bit from the beginning or the middle of the of the uh interview here we go uh, at infinitum d afterlife So that's uh, that was at Infinitum, the Afterlife, which will be on the same album, uh, which will be released on uh, October 29th this month, Chapter Two, the Legacy. So stay tuned, RadioBlastStream.com. Two of those singles already spinning on Radio.com. So make sure you download or just log in RadioBlastStream.com, where you can maybe get in touch with this wonderful epic song have a good afternoon and see you soon one of the interviews with stars take care bye bye